Thanks for joining me in the August edition of the American Society of Cytopathology e-journal series. I chose an article that was published in the March-April volume of the Journal of American Society of Cytopathology in 2021. It came out of Johns Hopkins Pathology Department and has been authored by Dr. Early and colleagues and is titled Review of SMARC A4 or BRG1 deficient carcinomas following a malign malignant pleural effusion specimen confounded by reduced Claudin-4 expression. My name is Saloni Walia. I'm an assistant professor of clinical pathology at Keck School of Medicine at the University of Southern California in Los Angeles. I do not have any financial disclosures. So in our practice, we've all had cases of serous body cavity fluid cytology that show undifferentiated or poorly differentiated malignancies and are very difficult to classify. This article details such one case report of a pleural effusion that was involved by a poorly differentiated, differentiated malignancy of a SMARC A4 deficient carcinoma. It also provides a literature review detailing thoracic malignancies with SMARC A4 mutation or deficiency. So the objectives of this e-journal presentation are to understand the possible cytomorphology of SMARC A4 deficient malignancies in body fluid analysis, to learn about ancillary tests, including special tests, immunohistochemistry, as well as molecular tests that can help in making this diagnosis, SMARC A4 mutated or deficient tumors have two distinct pathways of carcinogenesis, and we will go briefly over these later in the presentation. Claudin-4 protein has been shown to be a superior marker of epithelial differentiation, and we will learn about its expression in SMARC A4 deficient carcinomas. So the authors begin with a case report of a 78-year-old male who presented to the emergency with shortness of breath for one month. He had a 10 pack year history of smoking. COVID-19 testing was negative. On radiology, bronchopneumonia, pleural effusion, multiple pulmonary nodules and mediastinal lymphadenopathy were noted. On pap stain cytological preparations of thoracosynthesis fluid, the specimen was noted to be hypercellular with a predominance of singly dispersed atypical cells. Rare clusters of atypical cells were also identified. On higher par view in the middle of this picture in part B, we can see cell in cell formation of malignant cells. In part C or the rightmost part of the image, enlarged nuclei with scan to moderate cytoplasm is noted in malignant cells. The nuclei are irregular with coarse chromatin and are eccentrically placed. There are occasional perinuclear cyanophilic inclusions within the cytoplasm, and other cells show unusually prominent clearing of the cytoplasm. On higher power view of PAP stained smears, a rhabdoid morphology is discerned. The presence of cyanophilic inclusions can be more easily seen. The cytoplasm was noted to be granular with abrupt foci of cytoplasmic clearing in a few cells. The authors also noted that the cytoplasm had a yellow tinge to it that was reminiscent of the presence of glycogen within the cytoplasm. On h &E stained sections of the cell block, the tumor morphology was similar to that seen on the pap stain smears. Rare cells showed intranuclear cytoplasmic inclusions. The cytoplasm was noted to be granular and presence of perinuclear pink cytoplasmic inclusion was again noticed. The malignant cells uh, showed staining of the cytoplasm with PAS, which was lost on PASD thus um, confirming the presence of glycogen within the cells. On immunohistochemistry, the malignant cells were diffusely and strongly positive for BRF4. 
The other epithelial marker, Clotin 4, however, was only weakly and focally positive. Mesothelial marker, WT1, was negative. Um, Calretinin showed focal positivity. The tumor cells were also diffusely positive for CDX2. BRG1 was not performed at this time. Other pertinent negative immunohistochemical tests that were done were TTF1, Napsin A, P40, NKX3.1, CD34, and SAL4. At this point on cytology, a diagnosis of poorly differentiated carcinoma possibly arising from the GI tract was made. However, a primary lung carcinoma could not be ruled out. A subsequent, subsequent pleural biopsy was performed that showed malignant cells in solid nests and some glandular formations. The cells had a rhabdoid phenotype with marked nuclear atypia, prominent nucleoli, and abundant eosinophilic cytoplasm. The rhabdoid morphology led to the workup for a SMARC A4 mutation, and BRG1 loss was noted on immunohistochemistry. BRG1 was subsequently performed on the cytology specimen and was noted to be negative as well. Additional workup included molecular testing by next generation sequencing, in which mutations in SMARC A4, KRAS, and STK11 genes were identified. A relatively high tumor mutational burden was also noted. So a diagnosis of SMARC A4 deficient carcinoma was made for this patient. Patient was then transitioned to palliative care and it could not be further worked up whether the, to see whether the patient had a primary arising from the GI tract or the lung. So coming to the overview of BAF deficient tumors. Um, so BAF, that stands for BRG1 associated factor, is a human counterpart of chromatin remodeling complex known as SWI SNF complex. The SMARC A subgroup of genes belongs to this family and it plays a role in double-stranded DNA damage repair. Inactivating mutations in SMARC A1 gene can lead to loss of expression of the catalytic subunit BRG1. So these um, BAF deficient tumors are not infrequent. They have been reported in up to 20% of all human cancers. The key components of this SWI SNF complex include SMARC B1, which encodes for INI1 protein, SMARC A4, which encodes for BRG1 protein, SMARC A2, which encodes for BRM, as well as ARID1A and ARID1B. So SMARC A4 is a tumor suppressor gene that is associated with SWI SNF complex. Malignancies that are known to occur in the from mutation of deficiency of SMARC A4 include small cell carcinoma of the ovary, hypercalcemic type, SMARC A4 deficient thoracic sarcomas, poorly differentiated, undifferentiated, and dedifferentiated carcinomas in a wide variety of organ systems. Additional miscellaneous tumors that have shown a deficiency in SMARC A4 gene include Burkitt's lymphoma, pediatric medulloblastoma, pancreatic adenocarcinoma, ovarian clear cell carcinoma, and melanoma. So SMARC A4 is a tumor suppressor gene and it can follow two pathways for malignant transformation. It can be the only recurrent mutation and main genetic driver event. Example, in small cell carcinoma of the ovary, hypercalcemic type, or SMARC A4 deficient thoracic sarcoma. The second pathway is for SMARC A4 is to be a second or a third hit genetic event leading to a morphological change of carcinoma to undifferentiated or dedifferentiated phenotype. Such cases may show presence of both 
a well-differentiated and de-differentiated component on morphology. This has been reported in many organ systems, including the lung, the GI tract, endometrium, urogenital system, as well as head and neck. So there is a difference between SMARC-A4 mutation and SMARC-A4 loss or deficiency. SMARC-A4 mutations are defined by identification of a genetic alteration by molecular testing, example on next generation sequencing. However, SMARC-A4 loss or deficiency is characterized by reduced or, or loss of protein expression, such as BRG1 by IHC. It has been noted in studies that up to a fourth of SMARC-A4 deficient lung carcinomas can show BRG loss, but do not show a corresponding SMARC-A4 mutation on next generation sequencing. The reason for this is not clearly understood. However, it is now known that BRG1 IHC is superior in making a diagnosis of SMARC-A4 deficiency as compared to molecular testing. In terms of histology, we have three histological groups of smarc a 4 deficient neoplasms. They can be rhabdoid in morphology, and the prototype for this is malignant rhabdoid tumor. They can have undifferentiated round cell morphology, and the prototype for this is small cell carcinoma of the ovary, hypercalcemic type, or they can have large epithelial cells, and the prototype for this is epithelioid sarcoma. All these morphologies usually have tumors with a high proliferative index and show focal to extensive necrosis. So talking about the SMARC-A4 deficient thoracic neoplasms, these can be further divided into two distinct classes of carcinoma and sarcoma. So SMARC-A4 deficient non-small cell lung cancers um, are 5% of all non-small cell lung cancers. As opposed to other SMARC-A4 deficient malignancies, the non-small cell lung cancers have a more differentiated histology and lack typical rhabdoid features. These are negative for immunohistochemical marker TTF1, and that can be one indication to look for SMARC-A4 deficiency in these malignancies. They're associated with a worse prognosis than conventional non-small cell lung cancers, highlighting the need to identify the subtype. The other class of thoracic neoplasms include SMARC-A4 deficient thoracic sarcomas. As opposed to the carcinomas, these do have an undifferentiated or rhabdoid morphology. They have a dismal prognosis with poor response to conventional therapy and classically present as large thoracic tumors with mediastinal and pulmonary involvement. It has been a matter of debate whether these thoracic sarcomas are actually sarcomas or do belong to undifferentiated carcinoma group. In a recent study in 2020, um, the authors concluded that these tumors could belong to carcinoma group as a subset of their cases showed a more differentiated carcinoma associated with these sarcomas. However, the current terminology for them is still SMARC-A4 deficient thoracic sarcomas. So undifferentiated um, tumors sometimes can be difficult to distinguish in terms of lineage uh, if they belong to the carcinoma group or sarcoma group. However, due to difference in treatment and prognosis, it is important to try to distinguish these. So a set of criteria have been set forth that support the diagnosis of SMARC-A4 deficient thoracic sarcoma. This includes presence of rhabdoid or poorly differentiated phenotype, co-loss of expression of SMARC-A4 and SMARC-A2, which favors a diagnosis of smarc a4 deficient thoracic sarcoma, and presence of focal or diffuse expression of at least two of the three markers with stem cell-like phenotype, including SOX2, CD34, or SAL4, 
which also supports a diagnosis of SMARC A4 deficient thoracic sarcoma. These tumors can be differentiated from mesothelioma by identifying the loss of SMARC A4 because this is considered sufficient to rule out mesothelioma in favor of either SMARC A4 deficient thoracic sarcoma or SMARC A4 deficient non-small cell lung carcinoma. The authors also provide a literature review of studies that have looked into clinical and immunohistochemical characteristics of SMARC A4 deficient carcinomas and SMARC A4 deficient thoracic neoplasms. A variety of organ systems can be involved, including the uterus, the lung, mediastinum, head and neck, stomach, as well as the kidney. All these cases either showed loss of BRG1 staining or a loss of SMARC A4 on molecular testing. A number of these cases also showed a coexisting loss of SMARC A2. In terms of testing with keratin, these were variably positive. However, most cases that were tested on EMA showed positivity with EMA. So in terms of prognosis and treatment for SMARC-A4 deficient non-small cell lung cancers, these have a relatively bad prognosis, which is independent of tumor stage and a median survival time is of 21 months. They usually lack targetable alterations in EGFR, ALK, and ROS1 genes. And in terms of treatment, they can show a benefit from cisplatin-based chemotherapy in resectable non-small cell lung cancers. For smart a 4 deficient thoracic sarcomas, these have a worse prognosis with a median survival time of four to seven months. So Claudin-4 has been proposed to be a useful marker for this differentiated carcinomas from sarcomas. It is usually negative in sarcomas, but positive in carcinomas, including the BAF deficient carcinomas. It has to, is shown to be negative in 90% of SMARC A4 deficient thoracic sarcomas. However, some studies have shown that it has an uncertain role in the diagnosis of SMARC A4 deficient malignancies, as some carcinomas, including dedifferentiated and undifferentiated endometrial cancers, are consistently negative for Claudin 4. So, this represents a potential diagnostic pitfall in plural effusion cytology for BAF deficient tumors. The authors also briefly talk about gastrointestinal undifferentiated carcinomas. These are typically monomorphic undifferentiated tumors that present as discohesive, often rhabdoid morphology, with or without the presence of giant cells. Vimentin is usually positive in these cells. However, they do show variable cytokeratin positivity. So in conclusion, we should consider performing BRG1 immunohistochemistry for poorly differentiated malignant neoplasm, especially those with focal rhabdoid features. These tumors may show greatly reduced or focal expression of Claudin-4, which can be a potential pitfall and should be kept in mind. Thank you. This is my email. I will be happy to answer any question or get any comments regarding this presentation.